Um, the HPV virus or human papilloma virus is a type of virus that is um, from DNA, which is um, can affect all uh, different layers of the skin, primarily any kind of skin to skin or mucosal skin to mucosal skin contact can tr transmit the virus. Yes, um, it's very common um, transmission between men and women or um, in any kind of primarily sexual contact is how we um, see the transmission. So currently right now, um, abstinence is obviously the... Um, the best form of prevention. Um, there is the nine valent HPV vaccine um, that's readily available um, here in the U.S. and in most of uh, countries worldwide, either the quadrivalent or um, nine valent uh, vaccines available, um, and then just close screening. While attending ICNAM, which is an international conference on integrative medicine, I saw many presentations on the benefits of the immune modulation of HCC to clear other um, very um, virulent viral infections. And um, since I work in gynecologic oncology, found that HPV is our biggest challenge. It was about 2006 when HPV testing was approved. And we had the anxiety situation where we tell women that they're HPV positive and there was nothing we could do but wait. Uh, watch and wait and see what happens and monitor them closely. So that really drove me to the need we need to find some way to clear this persistent infection. As a lot of the participants asked today is, are we measuring or looking at the anxiety levels that are being brought down by eradicating HPV infection, which um, is something as healthcare professionals we have a challenge in managing when you tell someone they're positive with a virus that causes cancer, it creates a lot of anxiety. And so by eliminating the virus that causes cancer, we're obviously decreasing those anxiety levels. So the faster we do that, the better. <laughs> It's been a little over 10 years. Yes. We went from bench to bedside. We did a lot of preclinical work um, that then evolved to animal work um, and then evolved to two pilot studies and now this phase two double blind placebo control study. So this phase two um, is a milestone. It definitely um, helps uh, be convincing that the HEC is helping support the immune system to eradicate HPV. Um, but now we want to personalize it and optimize it, um, which are big words, but uh, basically want to treat to response. Um, some patients, their immune system is a little stronger, may need a different duration of supplementation versus other patients who maybe have are older or have had a lot more um, sickness or weaker immune system may need longer to achieve a complete response. My message? Um, well, uh, my message would be that, you know, HEC is a nutritional supplement that's readily available. Um, if you don't qualify for the study, I'd like you to come enroll in the study if you <laughs> qualify for our study. But no, otherwise, it's readily available and it's safe um, and has benefit against a number of viral infections as well. Uh, you know, our pr primary focus is HPV, but it can be used now um, and continue, we'll continue to develop the research and optimizing um, and defining how long it needs to be taken.